Pox. And I'm Ragable. And this is PS3 Hacking Episode 1. Oh god, this... Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with something really simple. But really useful. Uh, it's not really hacking, but... Really useful. Yeah, it's really useful. It's the PS3 Media Server. And this is a cool little... Program you run on your computer. Yeah, program you run on your computer and it runs on either Windows, Macintosh, or Linux. Because it's Java. Yeah, it's a Java. It's a Java it's, program. It's a Java server. It's a Java media transcoder server thing. And what does it what does it let you do? I mean, why would you want to use it? Because it lets you watch those videos that you normally couldn't watch on the PS3. Right. It only supports, so, you know, a small subset of so formats. Your PS3 can play back video files. But and since it's network enabled, it can play back the video files on your PC that you download uh, off of the pirate bay. But, but it by default, it only supports a few formats of uh, AV or, or um, MPEG, video formats. Yeah, yeah. MPEG4, MPEG2, DivX now. Uh, a little bit of DivX here and there, and yeah, it's, it's limited. Yeah. But with this media server, and um, you have to have some kind of a media server running in the first place. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. It only works with Windows with that media, Windows media player sharing crap thing. Yeah, you have to have a. So if you're on a, a Mac or a, a Linux, DL, you're screwed anyways. DLN, whatever the hell. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so you download the PS3 media server, install it, and check it out. Here's 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 a here's a little piece that I put together on it. <laughs> All right, so first you're gonna need to download the PS3 media server. Now this runs on several platforms: Mac, PC, Linux. I'm gonna be using a Mac today, so download it. Go ahead and install it, and you'll want to run it. Um, if it doesn't find your PS3 right away, I noticed that I needed to manually enter in the IP address for my PC. Then you'll need to choose which directories that you want to share to your PS3. It's pretty straightforward. You can go ahead and share your movies and pictures and music and TV shows. Uh, there's a lot of different transcode settings that you have access to. And ta-da! We start it. Use the PS3. Now on the PS3 side, it should automatically show up. If not, just search for media servers and you'll see it there, your PS3 media server. You'll see the folders that you shared as well as a special folder called video settings that will allow you to change the different options of the media server without having to go over to your PC, such as the subtitles and other various settings. Now, if you try and play back a file type that's not supported natively by the PS3, then you can go to the transcoded folder and you can choose which transcoder you want to try and play it back with. So this will allow you to play different file types that just simply weren't available like the M MVKs and, and other formats that well, PlayStation doesn't support. You also have the ability to play back web content directly to your PS3, so you can do streaming. Now this is kind of a work in progress, so I, I had some issues with it myself, but in the future this should work out pretty good. They seem to be updating this project fairly regularly, so I'd keep checking back. Alright, and so that's how you can watch all of your favorite TV shows and movies that you've recorded on your PS3. It's not as good as Watching boxy it in, or watching it in a format that the PS3 already supports, but actually, it's really doggone close. Jumping ahead and back, navigating it, you know, through the episodes a little iffy when you're transcoding. Well, yeah, it, 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 it depends on the power of your, of your computer. computer. Um, it's multi threaded though, so if you've got eight cores, it'll use all eight cores. You got a beefy machine like that right over there, you just yeah. it screams away. So it, it's working pretty good for me because it's fun using, <laughs> but um, I digress. Uh, oh, yeah, so if you want to see more of our shows, check out twosmartguys.com. That's T-O-O smartguys.com. That's for all number you, two. Everybody's searching for two on there. Um, <laughs> we know you're out there. <laughs> and uh, hopefully... Wanna, um, have more episodes about the PC. Yeah, yeah we'll have, we have another episode in the can, per se of uh, installing Linux and a few it's other things. It's been in the can for a while. And Good thing it doesn't have an expiration date. Oh, I had to recan it once already. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, check out Netflix um, at twosmartguys.com slash Netflix for a free trial, two week trial. Help support our show. Yep. And or you can also donate. Oh yeah, and you, we'll send you some DVDs of our older shows. And subscribe to the feed. So 
We're, we're not on a, a, you know, a daily schedule or weekly schedule. We're on a, when we get time, we make episodes schedule. So if you subscribe to the feed on iTunes. You don't have to constantly check the website. Or on YouTube, it'll, just, it'll send you a notification and automatically download whenever you, we make a new episode. See you next time. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.